After January 6, it is difficult to know if you're paranoid or just reasonably cautious. But a Virginia woman who spotted pickup trucks loaded with heavy duty kayaks and guys in fatigues with bald heads and scraggly beards, it seems smart to alert the police. How many exactly people are there out here kayaking in the middle of January? from out of state, from south where it's warm to north where it's colder. And it just alarmed me. The Coast Guard insists it's ready for anything, from an invasion by paddling insurrectionists <laughs> to a chemical, biological, or radiological attack. There are hazardous response robots. We can send them into spaces to alleviate any type of risk. They're equipped with four separate cameras, one on each side one in the front and one in the rear so we can get a full 360 view of what's going on. Captain Joseph Loring, incident commander for the National Special Security Event, declines for operational security reasons to detail exactly how many Coast Guard men and women are deployed. He will only say it's in the hundreds. Obviously the events of, of, of January 6th certainly heightened our concern level. Both the Potomac and the Anacostia, from the Sousa to the Wilson and Key Bridges, are closed to all but Coast Guard police and fireboats. If thousands of rioters turn up, are you ready for that? So yes, yeah, sir, we feel prepared for any threat. And have you been briefed on any particular threats? We don't have any current intelligence on, on, on threats. We haven't heard any. Which is a good thing. It's a good thing. The rivers are closed now to all commercial and recreational boats from now until January 25th. But that could end early if nothing happens. On the Anacostia, Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9.